Hi, I'm Nadan Sari, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create the laser pointer like we have it in Resident Evil games. That when they want to shoot and they aim, the laser will pop, will show up, and with the laser we can uh, aim at something. So let's just do that. So for that, I did create this project. You can see I have this uh, character from the Paragon project. And I don't know what it's called. Raph, Rafe. I don't know. So now we have this character. For doing that, first of all, we need a we need a material. So right click wherever you want, go to material and create a material. Or click or click create a material here. And I want to call it M laser. Okay. And it did open over here. And with this, if you watch my playlist of video about material, you know that we need to, to overdrive emissive color for something like laser so hold three on your keyboard and choose a color in here for for example blue or i think the better way to do it is just increase the blue in here and hit okay right the blue one and what we need in here we need to multiply this by a high value like thousand right i think the thousand is too much but let's just put it there and with that let's just shader compile you can see it's glowing some light but it's not perfect for our laser what we can do we can use opacity to decrease the opacity and for accessing this opacity you know that we should change the blend mode from opaque to translucent now we have access to opacity hold one on your keyboard and create a constant like this with left mouse button and put a value like 0.3 in here and connect it to opacity now it is see through right we can see through it it's more like a laser no with this i want to change this constant tree vector right click on it to convert it to parameter okay and i want to call it color okay maybe we want to change the color of um this uh, laser right so no let's just save it and no let's just right click on it and create a material instance and call it whatever you want we have this material instance and if you click in here we can change the color for example decrease the blue and increase the red and you can see no we have a laser that is red that's okay and no our laser is ready our laser instance is ready we should find our character a skeletal mesh right so it is in heroes wrath Rave or Raf or whatever, go to mesh and we have a skeletal mesh. If you have another project, just find your skeletal mesh. And in here, I want to find the, I want to put the laser in here, in front of our gun. Let me decrease the camera speed. So I want to put it at front of this uh, gun, right? How we can do that? Let's just go down and find the gun. Gun scope, gun, and weapon. Okay, this is our weapon. And there are some sockets already in here. And you can see the muzzle, right? If we hit W in here, you can see everything is set by that. But if you don't have this, just find a bone in your gun like this. And right click on it and add the socket. And you can call it, for example, I want to call it laser, right? And and the important thing in here is better to X be like forward vector. You can see the X should be in forward and Z go up, right? Now everything is set up. We have the socket called laser. And now if you go to our character class, we have that socket. So let's just add it. Click on your mesh and click on add and search for a static mesh, okay? And I want to call it laser. And for the static mesh in here, I want to choose a something like a sphere, okay? Like this cylinder shape cylinder just put in there you can see it's big but we will change the size of that don't worry before doing before changing the size i want to um, i want to connect it to, to a socket that we just create so click in here and search for laser the socket that we just create right it is okay no you can see our cylinder is have the animation of our gun now i want to decrease the size the size is too big so let's just first of all rotate it like this 90 degree okay and no i want to decrease its size like 0 0.01 for this one 0 0.01 again and for the z i want to make it as big as possible like thousand and uh, it disappeared boy because we stretch it too much so let's just put 0 0.1 in here it's too big so let's just use this value 0 0.05 like this and again it's too big so let's just put 
zero three in for both both of them and i think no it's better and no we can change the material for this to a laser material that we ju just create okay and no with that you can see we have a beautiful laser so if you run our game you can see the laser is working fine and we can aim at something with this laser and it has light as well and the good thing about this if you open this okay let me open it over here and i can change the color like um, i want to make it green for example i can do it fast right so no it is green let's just play our game and now you can see the well, laser is green and with all the animation it will work fine you can see everything is cool with that it is really beautiful so that was it guys for this video i hope i hope you like it please 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 if you want to help me and you like this video hit that like button and subscribe to my channel it's my honor to have you here thank you thank you thank you very much for watching bye